Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get started debugging a CRM Online plugin using Visual Studio and the version of the plugin registration tool that ships with CRM 2015. So if you haven't already done so, you'd want to log into the plugin registration tool, point to your CRM Online instance by clicking Create a Connection. I've already done that. So if you haven't done that already, please pause the video and go ahead and log in now. Next, what you want to do is install the plugin profiler. Again, I've already done that. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the Install Profiler option. Would be another good time to pause and then come back to the video. What this does is it installs a specific Serum Solution package. called the Plugin Profiler. You can take a look in more detail about how this works with the CRM SDK documentation, but just wanted to call out that it, it actually installs a specific CRM solution package. All right, so once you've done that, find the plugin that you want to profile and click the Start Profiling button. You'll notice that there's this new option called Persist to Entity. This will actually store information about the code execution that can be later used for debugging in Visual Studio. You have the option of limiting the number of executions. I'll go ahead and do that so I'm not storing a bunch of execution records unnecessarily. And I'll click OK. Alright, so now we notice that we're profiling this plugin. You'll see profiled right there. So I'll come over to CRM. I'll create a new contact. And we'll just say, call this uh, debug test and click save. And I'll just refresh this here and notice that we have debug test and the word dash updated was appended to the last name test. So if I come over here to the plugin registration tool again, I still have that plugin selected. I'll click the debug button. And notice this little down arrow. That allows us to select plugins which were stored in Serum Online. So we'll select the most recent entry. And then I'll point to the local assembly on my desktop. It's already been deployed to Serum Online. And we'll select the right plugin message that's pre-selected for us. And as I noted, I've already deployed this to CRM Online, so I already went into Visual Studio and selected the Deploy option because it's running and it executed in CRM Online. So the next thing we need to do is attach Visual Studio to this process ID, 4148. So we'll do that, Tools, sorry, Debug, Attach to Process. And there it is, Plugin Registration Tool. I'll click Attach. Click Start Execution. And now we're debugging a plugin that ran in CRM Online. But we're doing local debugging instead of attaching to some process on the server. So effectively, what the plugin reg registration tool did was record the code execution, bring it down locally so that we can replay it for debug purposes. Notice, if I, I do all the things I can do in Visual Studio here, and we'll see that you know contact last name was in fact appended. And this is a very simple and trivial debugging example, but it's intended to just get you up and running debugging plugins when using Serum Online. So we'll continue that out. We can close this. And of course, you'll also always want to stop profiling. And then if you don't need it any longer, you can also uninstall the profiler. And just to round out the demonstration, if we navigate over here to Settings and scroll over to plugin profiles, you'll see a list of all the plugin profiles that were stored in this custom entity. And this is of course where the plugin profiler pulls the profiles down from for debugging. 